All right. Um, we're going to do a, a loft now. And basically, we're going to try and fit in this 10-minute time limit I have so I don't have to crop and edit videos. I recommend having two monitors. If you need to just pause and replay this multiple times, just take the patience and go and do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, for my students, I'll be around to help you if need. Though I do encourage you to, to use some of your problem-solving skills initially or test those of a peer uh, prior to calling me over. What we're going to do, create a new document. And we're just going to call this one loft. Basically what a loft does, similar to a sweep, is we're going to take, this, take a shape in, in a plane and we're going to send it up so that it, that it grows um, into another shape in another plane above it. And then we can actually go one step further and it'll grow, it'll grow again into another shape or into another plane. The, 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 what we're going to end up with is kind of like this lamp design where it'll like that. So we're going to do all that again. This is something I haven't, I did some in SolidWorks years ago. I haven't quite done it yet in Onshape. Um, I think I did it. I'm trying to remember why I would have done it. I did do it once. I can't remember what for, what project. But um, again, that's simply, it's a very useful tool. And it's not, I'm not using it because it's not useful. I'm just, had, the application hasn't arisen yet. So uh, now it has. Let me show you what that looks like. And we're going to do a sketch in the top plane again. So select top plane, select sketch. Should be right there in the top plane. And we're going to call this um, skinny bottom. <laughs> that is no reference to the presenter of this video. And we've got this skinny bottom. I accidentally exited out of the sketch. Don't want to do that. So I double clicked it, got back in to the skinny bottom sketch. We're going to go to top and we're going to do a circle again. And we're going to draw a circle right on the origin and give it a dimension by clicking the dimension command, clicking that outer perimeter of the circle of one inch. So we've got a one inch diameter circle, fully defined sketch in our top plane. All right now, the next thing we want to do is we've hit check, we're out of our sketch. And we are going to create a new plane, if you will. And okay, here's how we do it. Come over here to top plane. And what we're going to do is we're going we're to select offset plane. Now, the way I did that is hold your mouse over it. It should turn blue. And you're going to right click. When you right click, this menu will come up. You can rename it. Um, new sketch, offset plane, hide other planes, hide all planes, and uh, view normal too, which would make it so you're looking straight at it. We want to select the offset plane button. All right. And what we want to do is offset it. See how this plane one just showed up? Okay. And this rectangle that my mouse is following also showed up. I don't know, maybe I can hide the other one so you can see that better. Okay, turn the eyes off on the front right. So we've got this plane that's just kind of hanging out here. And what we want to do is we want to set that distance to one inch. All right, and then let me see, I'm just, check, I'm just checking this out again. This is different for me. As well all right don't want to do that okay um let's just go ahead and and do that and let's call this um the fat middle <laughs> since it's like the the middle of the lampshade there's the fat part let's call it the fat middle click check all right and then we really want another plane besides this so I'm going to try this again. Okay. And you're just going to go to offset plane. And let's, let's name this one, this, the skinny top. Again, think like a, of a lamp table lamp that, that goes 
kind of like that. That's the shape we're creating. Um, name it skinny top, one inch. It's an offset. And just, there we go. Now we've got three planes. These are turned off so we don't get confused. Uh, I'm going to select fat middle and let's do a sketch. Now it'll help if I'm looking at that fat middle right on and I can see the circle below it. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to go to view normal too. Now my, my things are in the way here. So I want to make sure you guys can kind of see. Mm, all right, let's see if the, I can drag this out of the way or just exit it. Okay, high tools. Um, okay, so like view normal too. All right, now you can see that we got the skinny top we're looking right at, fat middle and the skinny bottom. I'm gonna get rid of that um, skinny top just so we can see it. And I'm gonna go in and hide the skinny bottom, not the sketch, but the uh, top plane as well. So now we're just looking at that fat middle. What I wanna do is draw a circle in the same way I drew that circle, only we're gonna give it a dimension of two. What you're gonna have is kind of this, um, oh boy. So I'm gonna have this kind of like bullseye looking thing. Okay, I got the dimension button on, selecting that perimeter, entering two, and yeah, we kind of got this eyeball bullseye situation going on. Uh, if we rotate that, so we'll go ahead and look at it from an isometric view, you can see that the, you got that skinny base, you got that fat middle, and now we want to go ahead and give that uh, skinny top. It's it's sketch. So let's turn that plane back on, and let's go ahead and turn fat middle off. And um, before I exit this sketch, I'm going to name it fat middle sketch. All right, and just for focus sake, I'm gonna exit out of that as well. I just want the skinny top plane turned on and I can even hide that bottom sketch. Uh, and let's go into skinny top. We're gonna sketch again. I wanna view that at normal too. So I'm right on top of it. And I'm gonna draw another circle, same as the skinny bottom. Let's make it one inch. And I keep getting my own way here. I'm just going to click that dimension button, turn dimension on, click the outer perimeter there, and make that one. And it's black, it's fully defined, we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these views on. And then, like, at an angle. And you should have something like this. Again, I'm going to go back, rewatch, redo, that's fine. Take your time. Um, don't let yourself get overly frustrated with it. Now what we're going to do, we've got our, our pathway, if you will, of the shape that, it, that needs to form. Um, we're going to go up and we're going to use uh, the loft command, which is this one right here. And just for kicks and giggles, let's name it lamp base. That's what it will end up looking like. And it asks for the profiles. So we can select that as one profile, the skinny bottom. Select that, and you can see it start to take shape for the fat middle. And we can select that. And what it does is it gives us that nice gradual loft. These other um, tricks we're not going to play with right this second. Well, you're welcome to in your own time. But... Uh, That'll do it. That'll that if you hit check, nothing's turning red, nothing's you know alarming us or anything else. And what you have is a lampshade that'll work. Uh, let's say you wanted that lampshade to have a fatter middle. How could we do that? I would double click fat middle sketch. Go in. Do this too, double click it, change it to three, press enter, and then press check to exit the sketch. And instantaneously, we get that fatter middle. I want to see your changed to three inch fat middle. Define sketches, your three planes with the titles on the side. Call me over when you're ready.